This webinar covers changes made to FDM 900 series. Beginning with FDM 900, the next gen chapter, there are two very important messages. First, the 900 series is being created to replace the 300 series. The 300 series will in time be retired. Secondly, if you are using ORD to produce your plans, you should be following the requirements in the 900 series. Also new to this chapter is guidance on submittal of BIM files. Simply put, BIM files are a signed and sealed CAD file that can be 2D or 3D. A BIM file is another form of plans and is a contract document. Beginning with July 2022 lettings, projects developed with ORD or 2021 Civil 3D must deliver BIM files for earthwork operations. This is required regardless of how big or small the earthwork quantity is. FDM 901 902 and 903 are existing chapters, which had a few minor edits. FDM 901 provides the expectations for the development and delivery of BIM files, beginning with the Phase 2 through the PSE phase. Design Build will be added to this chapter soon, but in the meantime, continue to use FDM 301. FDM 902 clarified that if plans are being developed in ORD or Civil 3D, then an EQ report must be submitted. No changes to FDM 903, but reaffirming that these sheets are created for information only and not to be included in plans. The new FDM 910 chapter is mostly unchanged from FDM 302 and 303, but there are three new requirements. First, in the center of the page where it used to say contract plans, will now state roadway plans. Second, provide a description that includes the project type as shown in the current work program, such as resurface, add lanes and reconstruct, new bridge, etc. And include a begin and work limits using site features, such as side roads, river crossing, or county line. Third, replace the key sheet map with the project location URL. The URL accesses GIS mapped locations developed to support the work program. 910.2.2 provides instruction on creating the URL. Work limits is information that would have been called out on the county map with leader lines. Component key sheets will look similar to the lead key sheet. A change from FDM 302, the component key sheet will show the list of contract plans components, the location URL and work limits, and the governing standard plans and standard specifications. A manifest for BIM files identified as plans has been added to the signature sheet. The manifest provides the file name and description along with an encryption code. The CAD manual provides the instruction for their new tools to support this process. A new process for post-let revisions made to BIM files is under development and will be released soon. With the delivery of BIM files, for earthwork operations beginning with the 2022 lettings, July 2022 lettings, most projects will require a manifest. FDM 
FDN 912, 913, 914, and 919 are new chapters that are very similar to their 300 series counterparts. FDM 912, mostly unchanged, but allows large format sheets to be used. FDM 913 was reorganized and a large number of text edits made. These sheets are restricted to standard size sheets. 914 removed most of the required general notes and provided guidance on when pay item notes are used. These sheets are also restricted to standard size sheets. 919 is the last of four drainage related chapters. Though similar to FDM 316.2, planned requirements have been updated based on model-centric design approach. And that concludes the update to the FDM 900 series.